Welcome to admin setup for an event message type. In this section, I will define what an event message type is and how you would set it up. So again, we're in admin, and we select event message type. And here you see displayed several different message types. I will now go and show you where you actually see this within the software. So we'd go to the home page. And over on my office events, I'll go down and I will select the reject office events, which is IRS rejects. And over here on the, the right-hand side, we have a column called message type. And what we use the message type for is a quick way of documenting uh, what took place. And typically, it's if, we're, if we call the client, leave a message, instead of having the hand type that we just left a message, we can just select the message type and it will quickly document within seconds uh, what took place. So instead of having to go in and actually use the keyboard to type. So in this example here uh, for the IRS reject, I show that uh, their son Johnny, date of birth not matching with IRS records. So on 11-26, I left a voice message. So say in this example, I wanna, I'm going to call the client again. Um, and I actually spoke to the client. And I want to document that quickly and not have to hand type it. So what I would do is uh, I'd come right in here, select the edit pencil. And from the message type, I'll select which would, which the appropriate message. In this case, um, I actually spoke to the taxpayer. So I select spoke to taxpayer, and then I save. And what happens is uh, it's documented the date, the time, and the user, Mark Preco spoke to the taxpayer. So now I've I properly documented the file uh, very quickly and so we have record that we did talk to the taxpayer, inform them of the problem that their son date of birth is not matching and you know now we're we're covered. So that's how the message type actually works and, and how you would use it. So now let's go back and, and actually set up some message types. So I go back to my admin event message type. And I believe the software that we provide to you probably has all these pre-filled. Um, and we've gone through a couple years, and these actually, we haven't had to change them. So, But it all, it all depends on how your office um, is run. But here we have left message with friend, left voice message, mailed postcard, no answer, phone disconnected, phone unavailable, sent email, text message, spoke to spouse, spoke to taxpayer. So... If you want to add another one, again, it's, it's, it's very simple. Spoke to grandparent um, and then save. And now that would be displayed in, in the drop down under event message type. Um, one other thing I'd like to point out, and again, we have the inactive column field. If, if you want to make one of these inactive, you just would check the box uh, as we displayed in the other admin setup. The one other thing I'd like to point out, Office Events Default, what that is, um, and it's strictly tied into if you were to send an email or a text message, when you send an email or text message to the client, um, and typically you'd want to do that probably in bulk because it's um, very efficient, uh, it'll automatically document this message type. So in this example, I have sent email, text message, and I'm saying I want that to be the default whenever I send an email or, or compose a message, email or text message. And that's why the message type is actually, that's what I have logged in here, sent email or text message. So let me show you how that works. If I go back to my home page and I go back to rejects. And now over here, um, and we haven't talked about this yet, this comes later, but compose a message and what that is is when I'm composing a message, I'm going, to, I'm going to send an email or a text message to the client. So one, I have to make sure, if you see here under the email column, an X, that's an indicator that I have an email address or a text message address. So I would just select the box, compose message, and immediately this title bar here says click here to send a text email message. And when I click that box, select the box, allow, my email automatically, we use Outlook, and I'll drag this over here. It'll automatically populate with their email address or text message address, and then along with our 
um, from address and then I would just type the message. But what I wanted to point out is the default is showing again the date, the time Mark Preco sent email text message because that was the default that I told it to do whenever I compose a message. So it's an easy way again to document the file quickly and accurately and, and to also to say who actually sent the message as opposed to having to get on the keyboard and type. And um, when you're very busy, it actually is a, is a nice time saver to be able to do that very quickly, especially if you're going to send a lot of email or text messages out at the one time. If you say send 20 or 30, this would be do all of them, all 20 to 30 clients would have the same message documented that you sent that, that message. So uh, that's all I would like to talk about regarding admin setup with event message. And our next section is admin setup with payment methods. Thank you.